What's up, guys, and welcome to the Judge's Scorecard. I'm your host, Christopher the Judge Dove. Uh, we're back here after a three-week break, which feels like uh, forever. A uh, little bit of a recap. Uh, last time we were out, uh, we made that whopping $2. A win is a win. A win, a win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. A win is a win. Uh, but it was our fifth winning week in a row. So we went from 861 to 863 uh, for a net profit now of 73%. So this is week number six. Um, looking to keep that train rolling. Uh, starting 2023 with a win. So as we get into the bets uh, for this week's UFC, our first bet is going to be a $50 two-fight parlay. And that's going to be Vieira and Habero. And that's $50 to get us back $170. Our second bet is going to be what we like to refer to here as a sprinkle. Uh, it's something on a big underdog, but we think it's worth a shot at this price. And that's going to be a $30 bet on Jimmy Flick to get us back $118. For our third bet, we're going to the main event. And that's going to be a Mavov. And that's going to be a $150 wager to get us back $274. For our fourth bet, this is our largest wager on the card, and this is our bankroll building bet. This is a $250 two-fight parlay that's going to be Basharat and Rabeshki, and that's $250 to get us back $355. Our fifth and final bet is our favorite underdog on the card, and that's going to be Damon Jackson. That's $100 to get us back $202. For our full fight predictions, uh, so far with these, we are 39-24-1, so pretty good start through five weeks. Uh, for week number six, we just pick who we think is going to win each fight and the method in which they're going to win by. So starting at the bottom of the card, uh, we have Sarge Eubanks by decision. Uh, at this price, I think Eubanks is, is a bit high. Um, could be something you throw in parlays, but I would tread lightly on this fight. Uh, next up, we have an underdog that I do like, and that's Jimmy Flick. Um, I just feel at this price, at almost 3-1, to one, that it's worth a sprinkle. Next up, we have Argetta. That's a, a late uh, opponent change for him. I do think with the uh, late change that he does win by finish. Then we have Nascimento, uh, another big favorite. Uh, Nascimento by submission, you may want to sprinkle that in there to get him uh, either under two and a half rounds or to win by submission or finish. Then we have Basharat, Basharat by finish. Next up, we have the biggest favorite on the card. That's Rebeshki. Um, I think this is a very safe bet. You could sprinkle this in different parlays, different money line parlays, just to kind of have some action. Overall, this card I, I do think will end up being a, a, a lot of favorites. So you're going to have to be creative uh, to make some money and you know just try not to get hurt too bad. Um, this is more of a, a fight card that I would kind of watch versus wager. Uh, we do have our opinions, but this is, isn't uh, the fight card that I would bet, be betting every fight. Next up, we have Habaro, and I would go with Habaro by finish. Then we have Nurmaga Madoff, uh, another big favorite, but I think he wins pretty easily. This would probably be my most confident uh, pick. If you made me pick one fight that's definitely going to win, uh, that would be it. But at that price, it's, it's almost unplayable. Uh, next up in the female fight, we have uh, Ketlin Vieira. This is a very close fight. Um, I do think this one actually, uh, a lot of people are saying this is going to be a boring, bad fight. I think this one will surprise us. Uh, this is one of the fights I'm most excited to watch, and I think Vieira gets it done by decision. Next up, we have Soriano. Soriano by decision. Fight after that, we have uh, Damon Jackson. This is our favorite underdog. Uh, he's going against Eag, who uh, definitely needs this win, but I think Jackson's just been on a tear, and I think he's going to continue to keep climbing. Uh, I like uh, Jackson by finish. And then in the main event, we have a Mavov and another uh, late change here. Uh, Sean Strickland was added just uh, today. So it's going to be real short rest for Sean. He just fought um, in the last card. So I think a Mavov gets it done. I think the wrestling's just too much. Um, and at a small price of about minus 120, I think he's a good play. I think uh, Strickland won't have the gas tank to keep it going. Um, I think a Mavov... Amavov just uh, kind of lays on him and gets it done. I do think it goes uh, over. I would definitely like to over two and a half rounds, and I could see this going decision. 